what's up friends i promise you guys i'm gonna make another video on life and death and i will explain you what life and death is according to the hinduism in my previous video i explained you guys what science think about life science relates life with these three major things the first is the growth the second is the reproduction and the third is the reaction or signal things but science do relate life with non-living things too as i explained to you science says life of the sun is this and this much years or we say the life of a car battery is three to five years so according to science the life corresponds to the working state of a system i already promised you guys i will make another video in which i will discuss about life and death in regards to hinduism so in this video i will explain you what actually life is in hinduism and is there a life after death in my previous video i already explained you what science thinks about life science describe life having three properties growth reproduction and reactions or signals and i explained in my previous video like all these three properties can be seen in non-living things too like adam i also explained in my previous video like science also take life with non-living things as in the example of sun like sun has a life of this and this much here so according to science the life is actually the working state of any system if a system is in working order and is doing its function the science may relate it with its life according to science something dies if it stops functioning or its major functions stop similarly if major functions of human body stops science regard this thing with death science will say it's a dead body now because there's no life but the truth is matter does not dies so what dies actually what is the death of a system every system has to follow some order rules regulations to work properly there should be a coordination between them and it's a natural phenomena that everything tries to move towards the state of disorder so with time the coordination the order and the working relation start decreasing among the system and it dies eventually you can collect the parts of non living things like if suppose if you have an electronic gadget or if you want to build up a car you can get the parts from the dead cars or non or you can say from the non working cars and you can put them into a new car and you can create a new car you can use it you can create a new system and you can do the same thing with any electronic gadget you can put some parts you can put you can take resistors you can take capacitors you can take other electronic components from other devices those are not in working condition and you can build your own electronic gadget but you cannot do this with humans you cannot repair a dead body you cannot take parts from other dead bodies and combine them and you can't make a new human being look at this example suppose you have collected the parts from the various dead electronic gadgets and you have combined them into a new gadget now still it won't be working the reason is you need electricity to turn it on similarly with humans you need soul to put life into them so you can compare electricity with soul in humans in hinduism soul is the life 
you can generate electricity in labs but you cannot generate soul as we all know electricity can't be seen you can't see the electricity similarly we can't see the soul we can only feel its effect so life in humans cannot be compared to scientific life the soul is an energy in hinduism we say soul is a part of god or you can say soul is a part of god's energy so hinduism say the life exists in us in form of soul and that soul is part of god's energy hinduism says it's the body that dies soul never dies the reason is soul is a energy and we all know energy never dies it just transform same concept is used in hinduism this concept is called reincarnation concept in hinduism it tells us when we die it's only the body that that is dead the soul lives forever it just transforms into various bodies i will make another video in which i will discuss about this reincarnation and the soul so coming back to the answer the answer to the question in regard with hinduism is yes there is a life after death thanks guys for watching my video if you are new to my channel do subscribe hit like if you like and share with your friends may god bless you thank you